him. <laughs> nah, I did not like that. I did not, I did not like that. I pulled up on her, I was like. No. <laughs> let, me, let me say it. He said, so, I'm just wondering if you want to be Alfonso Davies' girlfriend. It worked? <laughs> yes, it did. I was just like nervous. I was like, yeah. She said yes, though, so it doesn't matter. Here's everything you wanted to know about Jordan Haitema, <laughs> Alfonso Davies' better half. They are the cutest couple in football. Hey, hey guys, guys welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. channel. I'm Alfonso Davies. And I'm Jordan Haidema. And they are absolute ballers as well. Alfonso Davies has been in the spotlight for far too long. It's time we show Jordan some respect. She's fast. She's tall. She's deadly. She's a star in the making. <laughs> My name is Jordan Heidema. I'm from Canada originally, um, but now I live in France. I live in Paris, France. I um, play for PSG. Jordan and Alfonso have taken over social media with their hilarious personalities. They are great fun to watch, but they also remain humble and honest, which you rarely see these days. My advice is just have fun. That's a good answer. So who is Jordan Heidema? She's the one that did a heavy spending in the relationship. <laughs> right. Jordan started playing football at the age of four alongside her brothers. We weren't pushed into a specific sport, but I'm one of three kids and like my oldest brother, he played soccer and then my other old brother, he played hockey. So it's just like, I played both as well. Like any Canadian, Jordan loves hockey as well. But at 14, she had to make a decision between the two of them and I chose soccer in the end. This proved to be an incredible decision. Brought up through the Vancouver Whitecaps Academy, Jordan made her debut with Canada's senior national team at just 15 years old. A few weeks later, she scored her first two international goals against Costa Rica. Just like Alfonso, Jordan is not about wasting time. She's been labeled the next Christine Sinclair. Sinclair is the top international goal scorer in both the women's and men's game. No pressure, kid. Haitama's 23 goals at international youth level are the second most in Canadian soccer history, behind only Sinclair, who had 27. So far, she's scored an impressive 13 goals with Canada, and she's only 19. Her talent, alongside her outstanding 5'11 height, make for a goal-scoring threat. Reason enough for a PSG to sign her up for a four-year deal. It was a controversial move for the young footballer. Jordan opted not to go through the college system of football in Canada and instead go pro. I feel like a main reason why I didn't go to university was because I didn't have like a like a vision outside of soccer, like outside of football. Like I just always saw myself playing the game or like in North America, the football system is different to the one in Europe or South America. Players are usually homegrown through their high school rather than local clubs. They then go to college and after finishing a career, they get drafted by professional clubs on rookie contracts. But the women's game is changing. It's creating this new normal for Canadian players, for young kids to look and say, I don't have to go to university. I can go pro. I can do that too. I'm trying to be that one who sets the pavement down so it makes it that much clearer for young kids coming up. Haitama believes the best way to improve her game is going to the European leagues, getting the experience of playing against the world's best in the Champions League. I feel like it's just like committing yourself as much as you can to the sport. It's the same path taken by her lover, Alfonso. The Canadian was just a kid when he made the move to Bayern Munich. The two met at Vancouver Whitecaps Academy and have been together ever since. We've been in a relationship for three and a half years and we were talking about for, for about four, five months before I asked her out. Yeah, you took it so long. I took a long time. We were a thing for like five months. What's incredible is that both represent the most talented players in the new generation of Canadian football and TikTokers. and YouTubers. But above all, footballers. Who did I score my first professional goal against? And what was the score of the game? You scored your first professional goal against Mexico? For PSG. Ah, PSG. You scored your first professional goal against Bayern. 
the score of the game was 2-1. Two, two Being in a long-distance relationship can be hard for them, though. Long-distance is hard. I mean, we've been doing it for a really long time now. Like, even from the beginning, we were basically long-distance because we were in, like, Soccer Canada camps and we'd, like, be gone for weeks on end. He'd get back and then I'd leave. So we've been long-distance, like, our full relationship. That's not stopping them. Jordan Heitema is definitely one to watch. Her main ambition is winning the World Cup. The biggest tournament in your career that you've ever get to play in, and it's just a dream to win it. While she's on her way there, let's stop calling her Alfonso Davies' girlfriend, or even the next Sinclair. She's Jordan Heitema, and that's more than enough. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.